and it's so tough. And introduce it. The one and only. Big truck, don't touch. Wrist rolls, don't touch. French Siri, I'm so drunk. Cause I can't drink and drive with my show far. Find the work far, with the cold car. I really hold this time I work, I don't floss. See, I was in a work, now my pen outside the top. Trey said they're best friends, I bet they both. As they walk past, cause they said I sold drug. And when you're down, ain't nobody around. What's the comeback when you blow up? I forgot my jacket, but my heated seats help me warm up. First train to Inverary, I used to go up. It's ironic, I just sold out my show in Scotland. Used to say I wanna put Tottenham on a map, but one day I'ma change the map and Tottenham. Don't rush, slow touch, run away. I can go cunt, grab and buy. We can go bust, eye for eye. We can lose trust. Why run? Easy pop, where you they go, go, we they go up, catch my vibe, let me go up, climb the sky, man it's so tough. Contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. has been one dominant 155 pound fighter ladies and gentlemen you know this is a belt that frequently changes hands well it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist given all the skills he brings to the table the question is fighting a challenger like this can he hold on to the belt if he can just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 18 years of age. With the same height and reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, the Apex. And now, 
Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the king. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Look at him dig his shit right under his opponent's elbow. All right, single collar tie now. Nice. Still unable to... And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very fast with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. It's clinch. Big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Second round underway. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Good. Sound 
defensively blocks the shot. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Katie Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. Oh! Strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Oh! It was a good night if that landed. Oh! What a kick! This fight's gonna be over. What a great win! That'll do it! So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Good hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, oh. knee! DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His time oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. but just out of range. Beautiful hit there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Great timing on that beautiful takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? So he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that weapon. He's finding a home for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping the elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that point. Nice. 
Oh, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Final seconds here. Five minutes in the books. striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon. one of the most dominant positions in MMA, is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are, because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Just a gorgeous shot there. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada at the T-Mobile Arena. It's hard to believe this venue hasn't even been open five years when you think about all the big events that has held Conor versus Khabib. You beat Stipe to become a double champ inside these very walls. You getting chills being back tonight, champ. I'm getting chills being back at the T-Mobile Arena. I love this venue. And I'm going to tell you one last thing before the fight night starts. After you're done, take a walk outside and take a gander at the side of the building. You can see your boy DC, prominent of High in the Raptors, putting up those two titles. Oh. What a great arena. And that Vegas air feels like oh. a hair dryer in your face. <laughs> it's so hot. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. That's yeah, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the counter. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, wow! Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Huge block there. Beautiful strike. Missed with that attempt. Kick, that's a miss. Liver kick. Big kick land. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Ninety seconds now to go in round one. Right to the target. Let's 
see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. That's a big hook. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice head kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Slips the punch. We'll show you the replay. He nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. Ready? Ready? All right, round two. Nice kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Blocks the shot. Big body kick. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 58 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still. UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing, starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into the octagon, the target is on his back. Every challenger is the very best in the world. He turns back at every step. He remains the UFC champion. Yeah. 